Hello my friends, thanks for joining me today. Well, today we're doing something a little bit different. My son, Brandon, bought me a Cricut Easy Press and he got me the Easy Press Essentials bundle. So I thought, you know, I was just gonna tear into it, but then I thought, you know what? Some of my crafty peeps might wanna watch me do an unboxing. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna to do today. We'll do an unboxing. I'll show you everything that comes in the bundle. This is the newest model of the Easy Press, so I'll show that off to you too. Now, I have never used one and I got it. Well, he got it for me so that I could make some t-shirts for him. And since Carl is going into business for himself, I figured, well, okay, that'll work out so I can make some t-shirts for him too. If I can, you know, figure it out and hopefully I will be able to, I'm thinking I can. Uh, so anyway, let's get to the unboxing. The first thing I wanted to show you that he got for me was the infusible ink and these are transfer sheets. Uh, we got it in the gray color and also in the black color. my friends so here we are we are into this bundle that we have and in the box on the top we've got our little instruction manual and here are the items that come in this bundle we've got the easy press mat do you want me to take it out of the package let's do it Right, this is the Easy Press mat, and it says, for flawless iron-on transfers, innovative construction eliminates moisture and direct heat to iron-on design. It says it shields your work surface from damaging heat and moisture, so I guess you don't need to use an ironing board. And then it says, also perfect for pressing sewing projects. Oh, well, this will come in handy because I do work with fabric, as a lot of you guys know. All right, let's see what else we have. All right, we have an entire package of tools. Let me just show them to you from the top. And we're gonna go all the way up like this. It's called the Essential Tool Set. And actually, let's flip it over. And hopefully you can see the picture here because that shows what's in here. There's a portable trimmer, a trimmer replacement blade, trimmer scoring blade creates straight, accurate score lines. A scoring stylus, it says produces neat fold lines. Weeder removes tiny cuts. Tweezers feature a reverse grip. Spatula precisely lifts images from the cutting mat. Scissors have a fine tip and blade cover. Scraper cleans and removes unwanted scrapes from the cutting mat. So if you have a Cricut Maker, you might have a few of these things. For example, I have a Maker and I have one of these, although I think the one I have the tip is a little bit of a finer point. I have a scraper, but it doesn't have this nice little, this is like a wider, it's not wider this way, but it's like a fatter handle, be easier to hold on to. And I do not have a Cricut cutting thing here, so I think that'll be fun. And I don't have Cricut scissors. Of course, I have other scissors, but I don't have Cricut scissors, so that's very nice. All right, this is exciting. I don't know if I realized it came with so many of these fun colors here. So this is the iron-on vinyls. I guess they're vinyls. I'm not exactly sure. I'm, I'm really new to this. I haven't done any of this. I, I'm clueless, actually. We've got gold, pink, black, sparkly red, another gold, so one is probably bronze and one is probably gold, white, dark red, no sparkles, another black, Oh, sorry, this is navy and this is black. And then we have sparkly gold and then sparkly silver. So that's a lot of fun. Let's get into our next box, which is going to be the Cricut Heat Press. All right, friends, this was shipped to my house straight from Cricut.com. So I took it out of the brown box because I didn't think you needed to see me wrestle with that. So let's get into this one. This is very exciting, you guys. Okay, this looks like either a sticker or a template. I'm not sure. It sort of has a rubbery feeling to it. We have our little Cricut envelope here. And 
There's a little booklet inside it looks like. Let's get started. Need help? I might. Wait, we'll see. <laughs> Here's the Cricut Easy Press 3 booklet. So I guess it would give a, a short little synopsis of the parts and things like that. It's got it in different languages. Important safety instructions. I figured I'd lay the box down so I can just pull it straight out of the box onto my table. Alright, when it comes out of the box, this is what it looks like. It is in a little cottony pouch. Uh, there is, here's the plug, and then there's this tray on the bottom. Not sure what that is, but let's, well actually, let me lift this off of the tray. Let's get into this. Let's see what's happening here. So here we have this little tray. Uh, it's got holes in it, and it does have feet on the bottom. And there is, so you must put it on there because it shows you that you do set it on there. Now let's go ahead and open this bag and take a look at our new toy. I like this bag, and I think I could use this in junk journals maybe, or I could practice on my first uh, Cricut Press project with it. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so here she is, you guys. Beautiful blue color. It's almost a baby blue, but with a tad of gray in it. I love it, it's really pretty. Let's go ahead and break the plastic off. All right, I am gonna show you a little bit about it real quick. So this is our temperature button, and then this is the screen so that you can see the temperature. This is a time button, and the screen will also show the time on it. There is Bluetooth capabilities, which will also show up on this screen. Over here, this is the go button, and that's the same, that's a similar button. It might even be the same look as the button on the Cricut Maker, which is great that they did that. All right, there's a heat plate, and that would be this right here. And it feels like a Teflon pan feels. All right, this is called the safety base, which yes, that's brilliant. So you set this on here, like so, and that way when it's heating up, it, it's when you think about it, it's gotta have a place to sit. An iron sits up straight. Uh, so when it heats up, it's not really touching anything. You don't wanna burn the surface that you're heating it up on, so that's what the gray safety plate is for. And also in the little screen, it will tell you when it's heating up, there will be a little a triangle and it's in a sort of a red orange color and then green when it turns to green it's ready to use. I'm putting this here on screen in case you were really interested you could just freeze frame and then you could take a second to read that if you wanted to. Now that we've opened our easy press and we've taken a look at that let's open up our tools and take a look at them. As mentioned before, this is the portable trimmer. I'm gonna turn it sideways so you guys can see it. This part opens. There's a little rubber piece right here, but I'm sure that that comes out. It was just there to protect the blade during shipping. And then this part comes out, I think. Let's see, let's take a look. Let's turn this over. What does this do? This should come out. Let's see, yep, there it goes. All right, so you can make a perfect you can make a perfect square if you have this pulled out, which is nice. I'm looking forward to using this. It's a super, super nice trimmer. These two blades came with it, and I have another trimmer, and it's got a scoring blade and a cutting blade, and I think this might be similar. This one is real sharp. If I hold this and zoom in for you, you might be able to see that blade, but that's the cutting blade. This one, you probably can't tell, but this is definitely has a softer edge, so that's probably simply a scoring blade. Next we have the scoring stylus, and it says it produces heat fold lines. And this is the weeder, and so if you cut out something really, really small, you can use this to pick it off of the mat. Here are the tweezers, and these are really interesting, and I think these could come in handy for 
a lot of the different things that I do in my crafts. Look at them, you squeeze them and they open. Isn't that neat? So this is a spatula and it will lift images from the mat, which is kind of nice, especially if you're working with really fine ones that get sort of floppy. So I could see where this would come in handy. Here are the scissors. It says they have a fine tip blade. Let's find out. Oh, they do. Look at them, they sure do. Nice, okay. And this is the scraper. So sometimes when you print something off of your Cricut Maker, there's like these spare pieces that are not part of the design anymore because they've been cut out. But when you pull up your design, the pieces, the little pieces stick. So you use this to scrape off your mat. Remember the purple piece in the beginning of the video? Well, that is a piece of vinyl. And remember the bag that the Cricut Maker came in? Well, that they sent for me to do my very first practice project. So let's go ahead and do that together. The first thing I had to do was download the Heat Press app to my phone. Once that was done, I just needed to sync my phone to the actual Heat Press. Then we just follow directions from the phone. All right, friends, we've got the bag that was sent with the heat press. We have that blue thing, which is actually a blue vinyl, and that is gonna be the thing that ends up getting pressed onto the bag. And our heat press, I plugged it in. I couldn't believe how quickly it actually warmed up. So it's ready to go. I'm now gonna open up the app on my phone and hit the Get Started button on this. All right, friends, this should be a pretty simple project. And it says, what do we need? We need the heat press, the bag, the blue iron-on piece, and then the mat. I actually forgot to put the mat up on my table. So I'm gonna go grab that. All right, I've got the mat, and one side, just so you know, says this side down. So that's the side I'm gonna put on my table, and this is the side I'll put my project on. All right, I am gonna go ahead and power it on. So, I don't know if you can see it from where you are. I might be able to move the camera. When you first power it on and it's warming up, there's a red arrow right there. And that means it's not ready. That will turn green when it's reached the temperature that it needs to reach. And there it is. It literally just reached it. It, it only took a few minutes, if that. All right, friends, I am at my dining room table right now. I'm not in my craft room because I have some other projects going on in there. And I just wanted to be able to just spread all of this out and not worry about it. And so that's why it might look different to you than my usual creation space. So here we go. On my phone, I am going to be using the instructions for the practice project. And it says for me to send the settings to the Easy Press. So I'm clicking that on my phone. And it said it was sending it. And it says to preheat the blank. And the blank is always the piece that you're going to be working with. So in this case, it's this bag that they sent me. So I'm going to take the bag and I'm going to put it over here on the mat. Now, if you don't have the mat, you can use a towel, it said, but we're going to go ahead and use the mat. You can see the temperature rising on the heat press, and it says it's got about five seconds to go, I think is what the 5S means, but I'm not really sure. Okay, both the machine and my phone say it's ready. I can't see you guys, but hopefully you guys can see me. So it says for me to, well... Yeah, I'm preheating, oops, I'm preheating the, uh, the blank, as they say. So, and I'm supposed to press the start button, and then it'll tell me when it's heated. Now, the phone is showing me that it's time for me to put this down on it, and, all right, it says for me to pop this down. All right, my friends, we're going for it. I double-checked the instructions. And it said, it, it didn't say I had to put any plastic sheeting or anything over it. So I'm setting it down. And I'm going to hit that green button. And it's going to press it. I think it was a total of 30 seconds. And there's a timer here on my phone. All right, and it says it's done. And if you watch that, it shows for me to pick it up. So that's what we're going to do. 
and then I'm going to put this down. Now it says for me to flip it over and pop this back on here. Now the one thing I forgot to do, because I was thinking about recording, was I forgot to put pressure on it when I was um, showing this to you guys, so I am putting some light pressure on it this time. So that's what I'll always have to remember is that the whole point of having the handle here so that I can put some pressure on it. Okay. And now it says I'm done with that. And now it says I should be able to lift the plastic off of it. So let's find out. All right, friends, I'm going to be a nervous Nelly about this, but let's go ahead and peel up the plastic. All of it came off except the two little parts in the circles. And I'm sure that as I learn how to use this, I will, you know, do that sort of thing better next time. But I do have this handy tool. And I was able to get under the plastic, so, but I slipped. There we go. So let me pull that. All right, we got that one, so let's get the next one. And there we have it, my friends. I did it. I feel really good about that. <laughs> now, I know that this was a very, very, very simple project, but I feel happy that I did it. And now I have a bag, and I know how to use my machine. Well, friends, thanks for watching. See you soon.